Welcome back to 31 Days of Oscar here on TCM. I'm Dave Carger. We just showed the film that won the Oscar for Best Picture of 1987, The Last Emperor, about the life of Chinese Emperor Puyi. Up next is another epic biographical drama featuring Peter O'Toole that also won the Academy Award for Best Picture. From 1962, directed by David Lean, it's Lawrence of Arabia. The title character is T.E. Lawrence, an eccentric British officer who became one of the most influential military leaders in the Arabian Peninsula during World War I. The film was produced by Sam Spiegel, who teamed up with director David Lean after their first collaboration, The Bridge on the River Kwai, was an enormous hit in 1957. They hoped to capitalize on their success with another epic production and initially planned a movie about the life of Gandhi. They settled on T.E. Lawrence instead when Spiegel bought the rights to Lawrence's autobiography, Seven Pillars of Wisdom. For the title role, Lean and Spiegel originally planned to cast Marlon Brando, but he was busy filming his remake of Mutiny on the Bounty, so they were forced to consider other actors. By a lucky chance, David Lean went to the movies to see The Day They Robbed the Bank of England, and he became fascinated with Peter O'Toole. At that point, a young actor who had made a name for himself on stage, but was still relatively unknown in the film industry. O'Toole eagerly accepted the role of T.E. Lawrence, and went on to give a career-defining performance that earned him his first Oscar nomination, the first of eight that he would go on to receive. The film wound up winning seven Academy Awards, as many as The Bridge on the River Kwai had five years earlier, including Best Picture for producer Sam Spiegel and for David Lean as Best Director. From 1962, also with Alec Guinness, Omar Sharif, Anthony Quinn, Jack Hawkins, Jose Ferrer, and Claude Rains, Lawrence of Arabia. At the Academy Awards in 1963, Lawrence of Arabia dominated the proceedings. Out of 10 Oscar nominations in total, it took home awards in seven categories, including Best Picture. Peter O'Toole earned a nomination for Best Actor, but he faced heavy competition that year, and he lost to Gregory Peck for his performance as Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. Omar Sharif was also nominated for his supporting role, and David Lean won the Oscar for Best Director. It was his second Oscar after also winning for The Bridge on the River Kwai. Over the course of his career, David Lean earned 11 Oscar nominations. Three of them were for screenwriting, and one was for film editing, which was how he had gotten his start in the business. The other seven came for his work as a director, and only four other directors have ever earned more Oscar nominations in the directing category. Billy Wilder, who received eight, Steven Spielberg with nine, Martin Scorsese, who just scored his 10th this year, and William Wyler, who still holds the record with 12. And speaking of Wyler, up next is a film that won him one of his Academy Awards, the Best Picture winner of 1959, starring Charlton Heston. Next on TCM, Ben-Hur, then the best years of our lives, and later, Mutiny on the Bounty. Set sail for more Oscar tonight.